Hello, 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 welcome to you. If you're looking at this video, it means two things. Uh, you fold it randomly and you don't know what the fuck is it, it is about, so welcome. You can look the video and continue, uh, but I think that I will not fit your need. Um, or you fold on it because you need to ask questions, access one of my assets, or uh, because someone says, hey, this guy is doing some coo cool stuff, uh, you can go uh, check it. So to be short, my name is Edouard Stray. I'm working in Unity uh, Development Tool. I'm creating video game and application. I'm, as you can see, really fan of virtual reality. I'm uh, on it uh, since the Oculus DK1. For people who don't know what it is, it's one of the first uh, working virtual reality headset, I will say. And uh, since uh, some months, uh, all what I'm doing is creating some Unity tool that you can access by copy past uh, a simple link in your uh, Unity tool. Yeah, I'm also doing a lot of crazy uh, research in every direction, like uh, can we ride a bike in virtual reality? Can we hack a wheelchair to simulate it in virtual reality? Or uh, this uh, li little uh, foot keyboard, basically it's, a, it's a, just a foot, but it's also a keyboard. Yeah, Bluetooth keyboard. So yeah, if you like this kind of project, you are on the right place. I will not continue to talk like uh, like uh, like hell. I will go directly in the subject. So, if you come here, it means that you need something. So I will show you where to access it, what I'm giving you access to. Uh, remind uh, remind uh, yourself that everything is open source and it's a Patreon or YouTube channel. So if you want to support my work, you are more than welcome. If you're using my work for commercial reason, you should be a Patreon or buy the asset on the, the proper store. Okay, let's go, let's go. As you can see, I'm really, really good at speaking. <laughs> okay. So, uh, basically, uh, here is the start point. Uh, so, if you go on my Patreon, it means uh, streelwa.com slash uh, Patreon slash ilwastre. We fall on this stuff uh, where I'm showing some game I've done in, in the past. And uh, you will have access to those links. So those links is uh, basically you can download my game I have done in the past uh, on Itch.io over there. You can download uh, the tool I'm doing uh, in Unity for Unity. You can access a video log where I'm basically publishing a lot of video of what I'm doing. So it's a raw video log. So it means that I'm not editing the video or really uh, not a lot. It's just me sh doing something crazy and publishing on YouTube for people to know that they can do that. But if you want editing video, it's not. I'm not doing that. It's take it's like really too much time. So really, really rare. Uh, you can contact me on LinkedIn, but only contact me over there if it's for professional reason. And you can speak to me uh, freely uh, on Discord. So if you click on this link. Uh, you will arrive on Discord. If you don't know what it is, go on Google to know what it is. It's just a, a system that allows you to chat uh, to people and to a community. So we're for here where you can uh, contact me by tagging me, or you can ask questions on my current project, or just go here and ask your question. Basically, I'm, I'm available uh, almost every time. So just go there, say hello, and ask your question. Um, pam, 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 yep, yep, yep. As you can see, I don't post a lot. Uh, I post some on the Patreon some news, but I will not post some private code and private stuff on the Patreon anymore uh, for the good reason that I really, really don't want to make some stuff private. So everything is open source, free on the web. Uh, that's, that's my uh, way of doing stuff. So yeah, if you click on download the game, uh, you will fall on this page, so as you can see, uh, it was three. you can download all my last uh, projects, my last good project. For example, here it's a no radio, here it's a game when you can do a poi game, here it's a game when you can play with the Oculus uh, Quest and the Oculus S at the, the Puppet game, and stuff like this. I have another channel that is called Ichio Dusty, uh, it was three Dusty. So basically the other channel, Dusty, it's uh, there is lot and lot of projects that I've done, prototype, do some research, but I will not publish them because they are not finished. Uh, or it was just for trying something, or it was just a small game from a hackathon. 
but sometimes it's, use, it's useful. For example, this one allows you to have a countdown when you do a project uh, in a short time that it will never reset, so it, you just open the application and you know how many times it left, so it's a game jam countdown. This one allows me to screen uh, my quest and my, fo my uh, phone, but the code is not ready. I cannot publish that the code is really dirty. And yeah, but it's super useful. I'm using uh, every every month. So yeah, it's over there. So it's why I call it uh, Illustrate Dusty. So feel free to go over there. If, the, if you, there is a project that you are asking yourself some question, feel free to contact me. I will take a coffee and speak about the project, uh, answer your question. So I'm really open on that, and basically it's also why I'm creating this Patreon. So that, that, that's the part for people who just don't want to download some game and stuff, or know what I'm doing. This is the YouTube video, uh, so basically it's called Elroa Raw Video. As you can see, I have really, really, really a lot of video. Uh, and as I said, it's just some raw video. So for example, this one is just me trying to see what happens when you use um, the Oculus Quest outside with the light that is blinding the device. So if we take some water and put it on the ground, do we see the ground and is it enough for the Quest to track the position? Here, if I put some glass in front of the Quest capture, so Quest is this stuff, if you put some glass here, okay, on the, 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 the region of the camera, can we see in the light? So that's plenty of good question that I would not want to spend hours to talk about on YouTube, but that I want to give access to people. So yeah, that's the research part of my, my stuff. If you really just like videos that are really good, really done, I have this Eloi Showcase release where I publish almost never, but when I publish, it's a good video. So you will say, yeah, but me, I'm more about the code, about the code and, and stuff like this. So I have two uh, places where I'm putting the code. Um, I have a place on GitLab that is uh, GitLab slash Illustre. Why? It's because on GitLab uh, you have illimited storage, so I can put some files that are really heavy in my project. And also because um, I use a tool that allows me to push my project directly online. And uh, it's you can do it uh, with command line in Unity uh, in like really short time, but you cannot do it with GitHub because of the security. So all my project all my code uh, over there um, and I don't you can go there but as you can see I do so many projects that I, there's no description you will be lost so I have a page that is called uh, is it over there yeah I have a page that is called illustrepage.com slash tool so on the patreon it is uh, this one okay if you click on this one you will fall ooh, 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 ooh. I will click on it like this, you will see. Up, oh, I click on it, took. You will fall on this page. Basically, this page is the most important page you should uh, remember about this uh, Patreon stuff. So, um, I am basically, when I'm doing a project now, since uh, two or three months, I'm basically creating a Unity project. I'm creating uh, the tool I need for my video game, and then I create this tool and put it here and then I uh, this tool I will put it in my video game so basically uh, if you look for example at uh, Morse detector it's a, it's a tool that allow me to detect Morse code uh, here you have what we call a package JSON in Unity and it's something that allow you to take the code really really quickly in your project all you need to do is you copy the link here the clone uh, HTTP you go in, uni in Unity and you pass it in the package manager. Uh, if Unity open quickly, I can show you, else I will not. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, create it, I will delete it later. So uh, maybe I will take the time to show you because if you are here for that, you need to know how to do that. But basically, yeah, as you can see, while Unity is uh, opening, uh, I will show you a bit uh, what you can expect. So for example here, uh, Morse code is detecting, it's something that detects uh, when you're doing some Morse with some keyboard or some element in your game. Here it's just some code to launch some batch uh, file here, it's to know uh, what the application uh, your user is looking when he's outside of Unity, don't use it for hacker. 
just for, for, for good usage. Boolean history, it's something I've done for the moment that is tracking the Boolean state of Boolean to be able to know if the user used something some, th some time ago. So you can see it's plenty of tools that are really useful, like this one, allow you to f do some copy past in Unity. You just need to copy uh, here. You go in the package manager. Up. It's loading. Ding, 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 ding. It only works in the new version of Unity, the 2018. Uh, minimum. Add the git URL. Copy that here. Do -do 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 -do. Did it work? Yeah. So you can see that now he's downloading the code, the code that I did to detect Morse uh, in Unity, and uh, you will be able to have access to that. So now you can see that. Up package. You have a Morse detector here. I take the scene. Uh, not allow yeah because I need you need to copy it here. Yep, play. And will it work the first time? I suppose that not. Uh, what distract? But here you have a demo with the code and you can access it. And uh, I suppose it's working, but it's not the subject of the video. So I will not take a long time on it. I'll try, I will still try something. Yeah, I don't have time for that, but basically, yeah, the code is over there. You can check it and you can, uh, if, you're in, if my demo will want to work or if my code, uh, yeah. Sorry for this example because I'm a bit stressed by the, the recording, but basically go here and you have all my code and you can check uh, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and you can use it in your project directly, like just like this. That's wonderful, no? So feel free to use them. As I said, if, using, if you use it for commercial reason or if it's useful for your life, feel free to uh, participate to the Patreon. Uh, that's kind of the condition. For me to do it open open sourcely uh, everywhere so basically as you can see i have some plenty of code that you can access there is plenty of code also that you don't have access why that was the reason why i created the patreon at the first place it's because um i'm working in in unity since a long time as you can see uh, here I started to do some programmation and some Java in like 10 years ago, I would say 8 years ago. And uh, since I've done really, 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 really a long, long list of projects, mainly on VR, mainly on Unity, sometimes something else. But as you can see, the, the long is really, really, really long. I wanted to put that online, but it took me two months to uh, clean it, to store them, to put some image of them, to record some. And after two months, I was not done and I still need one or two months to put them online. It's taking a huge, huge, huge amount of time. So if you see a project on one of my videos and you're like, oh, can I have access to it? Ask and I will try to give it to you, but I cannot put them all online. Uh, maybe from time to time, I go in a project, I check the code, uh, it, it's useful, I create a package and then I will put it um, over there in the toolbox that I gave you. But yeah, so let's go for the following. What else you can have access to? So basically, uh, in my life, I have a, a period of my life where I was employed by someone, but I really, really don't like that because uh, as when I'm coding, I have so many ideas I want to code that uh, I maybe I want to try it and I cannot because uh, I have to work tomorrow and it's really, really boring for someone that is creative like me. So I stopped. I did try to live a small project where I go take, uh, find a client. Uh, I apply uh, what you need and uh, I try to do some service to win some money behind. It's really, really fun. It's really, really cool, but it's also really, really frustrating because you, we, the client don't have a lot of money, uh, your partner don't have a lot of time, and so you don't have money and you don't have time to finish projects uh, that have a small deadline and you're like, no, no, that's not possible. 
so um, my, my, my third part of my life was teaching. So I teach some Unity and some virtual reality um, to people who want to go in the video game industry and don't know where to start. So um, as you can see, I have here uh, a full um, a full GitHub uh, talking about what you need to know about Unity. But as I'm, uh, as you can hear, uh, I'm a French guy. I living in Belgium. Uh, all the um, all the the workshop is in French. I'm sorry about that because I know that a lot of people uh, could use it. But if you are French and you want to learn about Unity, we feel free to go over there. There's plenty of good subject. Um, and uh, each time I'm teaching to a new um, workshop, I go over there, I update the information, I do some day-by-day um, -day, uh, notation, log, and stuff like this. And it works for Unity, but it also works for virtual reality, as you can see here. Uh, so I have another uh, lecture about virtual reality, a lot of subjects, uh, and openly uh, open source on the web. And when I have a topic I want to edit for the next uh, workshop, I edit here to be able to remind me that uh, it's a cool video. So maybe you can check it over there. The third one is Code and Quest. So basically, uh, when the Oculus Quest, these ones uh, when were out, this helmet, this virtuality for me, it's the um, is a standard. It's a standard. Uh, you have the head, you have the head tracking, you have the hand tracking, you have some button, it's really really good, it has two or three hours of power, that's perfect, I mean, we almost need not a lot more for virtual reality, we, there's some stuff we can add like augmented reality and virtual reality at the same time, we can add maybe eye tracking, maybe some hand tracking, better hand tracking that for the prison, but you can see that's Virtual reality for me, it is this device and not a PC device because PC device, it's really too boring to have a PC with a cable and stuff like this. So I've done this um, code and quest every day where when I received that, I was trying to do some quests and some code every day. Um, if you look to the timeline, you will see that it's not true. I stopped after two months to do it. But uh, as you can see, my structure is kind of, I when I have a question for the Oculus Quest, I put question and then I put the question there and it means that one day I want to have the answer to this question and so maybe someone else will answer to this question. So for example, if you good look at um, most commented, for example this one, what is the possibility of custom of the headset? Uh, it's a subject that I really like about what you can do about the headset and you can see that I have done some documentation about um, craft and tool that you can use for the Oculus Quest. So yeah, basically that's, that's um, a workshop that I will continue to work on for, for months, small part by small part, and uh, from workshop to workshop. So if you, if you like this subject, feel free to go over there. And as you can see, the Code and Quest one is in English. So it's, it's not a French one, this one, it's an English one. I will try to make a tutorial that is explaining step to step, step by step, how to do uh, Oculus Quest uh, in Unity. But that's not what bring me money in my life, so I'm not spending too much time on it, uh, except when I need to teach it to students. So, yeah, but there is some tutorial about how to introduce yourself to virtual reality. Yeah, the last project I'm working on, yeah, it <laughs> if you want to know uh, what I can teach, uh, so one day we asked me uh, what I, I can teach to people. So I create a repo repository that is called teaching. And as you can see, um, the list is kind of long. I can teach about Git, I can teach about Unity. So if you want to hire me to give some lecture on a specific subject, feel free to, to ask. Uh, one of my favorite is Hackathon Game Jams because uh, in my life I've done, uh, I think I'm 66, 66, something like that, or 67 Hackathon in my life. So Hackathon is when uh, we take a lot of people, we close them up in a room uh, all together and we say do a game or do an application, try to solve this solution and you work for uh, one or two days in a row. Uh, so it's a, it's a marathon uh, to solve the solution or to create a video game so, or an application when it's a hackathon or in game jams. So yeah, feel free to ask questions about this subject. I really, really love them. 
Uh, so yeah, that was for closing the teaching part. One of the main projects I'm working on for the moment is called OMI. And uh, I will do a full video on that um, in not a long time because uh, I, I really need to make the point and ask people to support me to, to this work because it's crazy. It's crazy. Basically, it's open macro input uh, for and it allows you to trigger any kind of uh, input as, um, for example, um, Yep, yep, yep. This is a keyboard for the end. Okay. Here. And uh, it allows you to type on the wood. And when you type, uh, it makes something on your phone. But uh, that's cool. But I really want uh, to activate my PC to launch a macro, not just write on my phone. And so basically, uh, open, macro, uh, open macro input is a lot of tool that allow to you to, to do that. And I try to make that every people can use macro and every people could launch macro as they want from this lot of different API. If I want to use the Kinect I'm using for right now for filming here, I want to be able to, when I take my hand up on my head, it triggers something on my PC. So it's a really, really huge project that started uh, from some hardware because I wanted to make some uh, uh, foot keyboard that would trigger some stuff on my PC to help basically my sister to um, not use his uh, her hands because he, um, she, um, she has a lot of problem with her hand for the moment and for me because in video game uh, I don't have enough finger for my video game and I want to use my foot my leg or um, my, my look or my mouse I want to be able to trigger more than just uh, the, the, the input we give me. So long, long video about that. I will not stop here, but feel free to go over there and check what I'm doing. It's really, really, really crazy. So I think that it's a bit the end of the tour. So, so if you have to remember something, it's just go here. So the page.link toolbox, and then you fall over there where you have all my tools. Feel free to subscribe to uh, Il Waho. So this one, okay. So my rule is fuck the rule. We want to know if it's possible. Grab some beer, sit and try to cut it. So if you if you like this sentence, you should like my video. And yeah, feel free to, to talk to me on Discord. I'm really available. Uh, and I hope the code is with you. May the code be with you. And see you next time. Bye.